Chapter 717 A Flash of Memory This was all of that sealed memory. In the mountain valley, the females of Moon Worshipping Palace surrounded the altar with King Lai at its center. They gathered their power and guided Moonlight to attack King Lai's memory barrier and tear crack. King Lai's head split in pain as he rolled on the ground and howled. As he howled, scenes started to appear from the depths of his memory. In a flash, he walked out of the enormous whirlpool in the gray void that seemed to be a passage that connected the earth and the sky. He stood on the peak of a mountain tens of thousands of meters high. This mountain peak pierced the clouds. The white clouds were at the middle of the mountain, causing it to look like a pillar connecting heaven and earth. The enormous spatial whirlpool spun above the mountain peak. After he came out, he stared into the distance. Palaces hundreds of meters tall stood tall and stretched out over the endless land. They looked like an endless mountain range stretching towards the sky. Looking from the soaring enormous peak Kinlai was on, one would find that there were enormous flying spirit artifacts almost 10,000 meters long flying across the sky above the palaces. If one focused, they would see many martial practitioners going in and out of the palaces. Some of the palace's martial practitioners simply stood on stone pedestals gazing at the sky, as if they were trying contemplating. Occasionally, some domineering martial practitioners would streak across the sky on their soul altars. Many enormous beasts and birds were being ridden by children that laughed and played in the air. Keen Lai suddenly felt a great longing as he looked at the vast peaks, endless land, and spectacular and mysterious scenes. He could feel that this world he was looking at was his home. Young master, welcome back from the galaxy battlefield. Shouted a nearly hundred meters tall giant that seems to be made of golden liquid. He shone with golden light under the sunlight. His naked upper body firmly muscled. His head was bent as he knelt on one knee at the mountain peak like a crawling golden beast. He said, Master is waiting for you. Kinlai turned around and saw there were dozens of golden giants kneeling and waiting on the mountain peak with bowed heads. There was a nine-headed snake almost a thousand meters long among the enormous golden giants. Its skin had an exquisite natural pattern. Its nine giant heads moved constantly, the watermelon-sized eyes showing joyful light as they looked at him. He laughed and flew to land on the largest head of the nine-headed giant snake. He howled, and the nine-headed giant snake moved like a cloud towards the largest palace. The dozens of golden giants turned into golden arcs of light that followed the nine-headed giant snake. Kinlai couldn't help but howl as his head hurt. The scene in his head suddenly disappeared. A terrifying ripple suddenly erupted from inside his memory barrier. A world-destroying dominant resolve formed a suffocating twister that swept towards every corner of his consciousness. Boom. Under the terrifying ripple, the crescent moon hanging in a sea of consciousness immediately shattered. The crack that let him peer into his deeply hidden memories was quickly blocked and reinforced. PFFT, UG, EG, Shuiji and the martial practitioners of Moon Worshipping Palace on the altar spat out blood. The crimson blood dyed the front of their silver robes red. Their bright eyes suddenly became dim. Their rosy faces became ashen and seemed weak. Kin Lai opened his eyes and looked at Yuji and the others. He hesitated and said, Can you continue? Yuji hurriedly shook her head and said, We will not continue. Her eyes were filled with deep terror. With the secret heart of Moon Worshipping Palace and joint power of her sisters, she tried to destroy the memory barrier and peek into Kin Lai's past. As a result, Kin Lai's memory barrier seemed to have a corner torn out. Yet when she let her own consciousness gradually permeate into the crack to investigate, she suddenly felt a terrifying and dominant resolve. That twister made from resolve almost tore her soul apart. If she hadn't retreated in time, she, E.G., Shuiji, and the other sisters would have had their souls torn to pieces, not even a trace of them left in the world. Even so, her soul still suffered considerable damage. She wouldn't be able to recover in a short time. Why is it like this? Kinlai murmured. The person who sealed your memories is terrifying. Just the resolve he left behind is enough to extinguish all of our souls. We will not try, Yiji said, shock evident in her tone. The females of Moon Worshipping Palace looked at Kinlai in shock. At the same time, Grey Island. Tang Siki walked out of her seclusion room and found the Mohai, Hong Boen and Song Tin waiting for her. She realized that there must have been an important matter and immediately asked, What is it? This is a letter that came from Moon Worshipping Valley of Prism Continent. The writer says that he is Kinlai, but we do not recognize his writing. I hope that you can confirm it. Hong Boen handed over the letter. Tang Siki received it. With just a glance, her body shook. It is Kinlai's writing. Back at Armament Sect, Kinlai had helped her forge smaller components under her guidance. The two had drawn spear diagrams together, and knew each other's strokes, emphasis and tiny details as well as their own. She recognized Kin Lai's writing with a glance. It really is Kin Lai. Song Tin's eyes lit up. She smiled and then said, Elder Hong, wait a moment please. I need to return a letter, and prepare some things. I will go send them with you. Cough cough, Siki, don't you have something to say to Kin Lai? Mo Hai reminded. Tang Siki quickly reacted. Her face flushed slightly and she said to Hong Bowen, I also need to send the letter. Elder Hong, please wait a while for me. Minor matter, minor matter. Hong Bo and chuckled. The two females hurriedly left. Fifteen minutes later, the two came back simultaneously. Song Tin handed over a spatial ring and said, There is a letter and some materials of six attributes. He will have use for them. Tang Siki handed over a spatial ring as well. Please give this to Qin Lai for me. Hong Bo and looked at the two females, smiled and said, Don't worry, I guarantee they will reach Qin Lai. Hong Bo and left Grey Island and a while later, he arrived next to the large item teleportation formation. He thought for a moment and also wrote a letter. He left a mark unique to Blood Fiend sect on top and then ordered, Prepare fifteen blazing profound bombs. Send them with this letter and these two spatial rings to Moon Worshipping Palace at Moonstone City. Fifteen blazing profound bombs? Elder, the spirit stones that Moon Worshipping Palace has sent are only enough for ten blazing profound bombs. 
Also, the supply of blazing profound bombs can't keep up with the demand. We. The person reminded. Hong Bowen interrupted him and said impatiently, Do as I say. This person's expression became stern and he hurriedly complied. He put the fifteen blazing profound bombs, the letter Hong Bowen wrote, and the two spatial rings onto the item teleportation formation under Hong Bowen's supervision and then sent them. Moon worshipping palace at Moonstone City. Inside a secret room with a small teleportation formation, Dong Wan's high and the higher-ups of Moon Worshipping Palace had left long ago. They only left three Fulfillment Realm Martial Practitioners standing guard. Narrowing their eyes, the three looked at the teleportation inside. 300,000 Earth Great Spear Stones, gone in an instant. Ah, I wonder what Palace Master thinks? Our Moon Worshipping Palace is weaker than Heavenly Martial Association and Jewel Flame Manor. We had hoped that we could improve our standing slightly with the ten blazing profound bombs and hadn't expected. Alas, doesn't Blood Fiend Sect have a good reputation? What is going on this time? If they aren't going to sell blazing profound bombs, shouldn't they return our spirit stones at least? I heard that Yao Tian is from Zhang Zuzu's faction. Zhang Zuzu's faction has always been at odds with the Setting Sun Island's Blood Fiend sect. They definitely discovered something. It must be so. Damn that boy. He has really harmed us. Don't worry. Yuji took him. He probably won't end up well. Do you think that group of women would do something after taking that boy to the ceremonial mountain valley out of hunger? Haha. <laughs> Who knows? I feel it is likely. The three people got more and more perverse as they talked, letting out strange laughs as they lowered their voices. At this time, a curtain of light wrapped around the teleportation formation. The space inside the formation trembled, and the curtain of light slowly dissipated. The three stood up in shock. What entered their sight made them unable to keep calm. Blazing profound bombs. Fifteen. Fifteen of them. They are really from the Setting Sun Islands. Oh no. Yuji and the others were wrong. The three panicked and hurriedly left. They charged out at their fastest speed to report to Dong Wan's high. It was late in the night. Dong Wan's high was cultivating. Hearing the noise outside, he walked out and said harshly, What is that commotion, Palace Master? Setting Sun Islands delivered fifteen blazing profound bombs, a letter for you, and two spatial rings. One person came forward and respectfully handed over the letter. He added, Yu Ji and the others are most likely mistaken. Dong Wan's high panicked. He looked at the letter Hong Bo and had written and shouted hurriedly, Wake up Liu Hong, have him immediately message Yu Ji to bring Yao Tian back. No, no. Dong Wan's high thought and shouted, Tell Yu Hong to message Yu Ji and tell her to stop the interrogation immediately. I will personally go apologize to Yao Tian. Also, wake up the people that had been in the secret room before. Have him accompany me to Moon Worshipping Mountain Valley, Dong Wan's high shouted. Moon Worshipping Palace immediately descended into chaos. 